Right, we're just going to take a, a look now at using um, EID readers to do lambing routines in the shed. Um, for most of us wanting to use EID as a management tool, lambing is the big event of the year. It's when we're going to tag the lambs up, link the lambs to their mothers. We can then work out who the sire is. Um, we want to know that the animal's date of birth. And, and if we can, we might want to go on and weigh it and we might want to record breeding traits, things like lamb vigour or milk um, availability off the mother. So, so lambing's the big event of the year with an EID reader. And you can only really do this with, with um, either a Scion or one of the Agrident APR 500s. Stick readers just don't do the job uh, unless you send the EID to a, a computer or something. The Scions, though, lend it are really, really useful. And they're very, very good at this because we've got the information about the use on the reader. We know who they are. We can find them manually or we can use the EID reading capability to, to actually scan the use tag and therefore identify her that way. The routines for lambing are also then configurable. So you can do a basic lambing routine which just scans the ewe, scans the lambs, links the two together. Or you can do a much more sophisticated one where you actually get to record breeding traits about the ewe and breeding trait about the lamb or lambs. And we can obviously record stillborns, prolapses and abortions in the same um, routines. So the scions are very, very good at this. They have one major advantage is that we can actually check the actual tag numbers of the use. The other simpler readers, the APR 500s, well, they're data collectors. So there's no checking really as to what you're doing, but they still create a very quick and efficient lambing routine, as we'll see. OK, we're going to do a uh, sheep lambing record. Um, this is the main sheep menu, so to go into lambing, we just hit the lambing button. We have the option of either entering the tag manually for the U or reading the tag. She's got an EID tag, so all I need to do really is just click the button that says click to read. And once it's reading, just wave at the U. We get the, the U's number, and you can see she's come up here. She's number 126. Once we're happy that that's OK, all we do is click OK. And the next thing we get is the selection of lambing events. Now, this is, is birth of lamb, so it's, it's the first one on the list. But we've got others in there, so if she'd prolapsed, we could record prolapsing. If she'd aborted, we could report, uh, record the abortion. But going back to birth of lamb, birth of lamb's number one, so all we do is hit number one on the keyboard and then click OK. The next little question is, how old is the lamb? Now, this one lambed uh, just yesterday, so it's just one day old, so OK, I can go put the one in on there. Um, the sign will let you do any age up to 30 days, so you, you've got quite a broad time in which you can tag these up. Uh, we're happy now, we've got one day old uh, for the lambs, so all we do next, click OK. Yeah. And then the next question is, did we help her lamb or not? So in this scenario, she had no help at all, she just gave birth to it naturally, but we could say that we helped it, uh, or it's a vet, or it's a caesarean. Uh, so no assistance on the top button, and then we're, we're ready to scan the lamb. Now, our, our options regarding the lamb, our lamb is OK, in which case we expect it to be tagged. We're going to give it a number. Um, still born, obviously it was born dead. Untagged, we're, we're not going to tag the lamb. We're just going to record the fact that she had a lamb and then fostered on or died untagged. So if, if she had a, a lamb two days ago and um, it had died in the last 24 hours, we could just record it as it died and obviously there's no need to tag it. In this case, we've got a, a nice bonny little lamb, so we're going to click lamb OK. Yeah. We can either again enter it manually or we can click to read. So we're going to click to read and then we're going to scan the lamb's tag. So again, it's reading away and we just scan the lamb's tag and then we come back and there and we can just check the number we've got up there. All right, once we've got the lamb's tag number, we click OK to carry on and we get the b basic questions for its sex. So it's a ram or a ewe or a weather. This one's a ram lamb, so we're going to click OK to that. Yeah, and then we get a, just a confirmation of its breed. Now, if she'd been sired by a Texel um, or a Suffolk or something like that, we could, we could pick the breed of the lamb. Um, and we use the breed to just confirm when we're looking up who the sire is, who the sire was. So in this case, it's a nice little Jacob. So here we're going to go number one for the Jacob, yeah, and then click OK. We then get lamb two options. Now, lamb two options are exactly the same as lamb number one. And if she'd got a second lamb, we'd go round the process again. There is no second lamb, just a single. So in this case, we just hit the top button, no lamb. That gives us then a summary. And if we're happy with the summary, we just click OK and the record is saved. We get saved record there, click OK. Now we can go on to the next one. And that's the basic lambing record. Right, back in the office, all we're looking to do really is just plug the sign into its docking station. 
go to our Farm IT management software and just synchronise the two up. And the synchronisation process will import all my lambing records that I've just made outside and any sheep setups I've done and then create the records on my computer and then put all those records back on the silo. So if I go back outside, I can go and look at the lamb and get all its history about what it's done. So here we are, we've got the sign in its docking station, we just press it down to make sure it's in, nice and firm there. This is our farm management console. Up here we have an icon for the mobile, so we open that up. The most important thing is that it actually says the mobile device is Farm IT Mobile, which is the device name of the Scion. Then all we have to do at this point in time is hit the real big button in the middle that says synchronise. All we do is click synchronise, we sit back and have a cup of tea. This will take us about, well we'll see, probably about 30, 40 seconds and then it'll tell me that it's complete, job's been done and all my lambing records are created down the side. There we go, it's created its stuff, it starts putting it all back on the scion and any minute now it'll say that it's done. There we go, synchronisation complete, we can close that down, we get a nice little report, which is really just for me and the support guys to say yes, okay, it's done what we want, but if we scroll down the report here, we'll see down, down here that we've gone and got some lambing records and that we've created our lambs on this line here, you can see the lamb that we've created, yeah, and then we can close that down, in here we can go and find our lamb that we've just made, which was number 153, which was the little star out there, and I think he weighed, uh, we should have a weight record for him, saying that he weighs 5.7 kilos. There's his little weight record. So everything that we've did outside is now created on the main computer software all automatically for us. We can sit back, have a cup of tea, and if we really want to go next, we'd go to sheep, come down to analysis, lambing analysis, pick the year, which is this year, yeah, and then we get all the information about what all my sheep have done this year and who's had what and everything there and I can click on my stats button and I can get all my little stats up there telling me how many lambs have been born, who they've been born to, how many were stillborns I had, how many prolapses I had and hopefully how many live lambs I've got left with to turn out and put in the field. And that's all there is to do it. The Scion is now ready to go back, up, back outside. It says on here it's received an update. We just click OK to that. Yeah. Normally we just come out of the sheep menu and go back in but now we're out ready to go back outside and do some more lambing records.